It's now my pleasure to welcome our next guest and award recipient, Bonnie Carroll. Bonnie is the president and founder of the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors, TAPS. Ms. Carroll retired from the military as an Air Force Reserve Major and as a surviving spouse of Brigadier General Thomas, Tom Charles Carroll. She founded TAPS after losing her husband on November 12, 1992 in an Army C-12 plane crash. TAPS is a military service organization that provides compassionate care, casework assistance, and emotional support for all those who have lost a loved one that was serving in or in support of the armed forces. Ms. Carroll does not limit her commitment to offering hope and healing to the family of veterans who have fallen in service to our country. She is the author of Healing Your Grieving Military Heart, has served on the board of directors of the Association of Death Education and Counseling and co-chair of the Department of Defense Task Force on the Prevention of Suicide by Members of the Armed Forces. I'm proud to present you the uh, recipient of the 2007 VFW James E. Van Zandt Citizenship Award, a truly amazing woman, a veteran, Bonnie Carroll. James E. Van Zandt Citizenship Award and Citation awarded to Bonnie Carroll in spirited recognition and lasting appreciation for her unwavering commitment to provide compassionate care, casework assistance, and emotional support to all of those who have lost a loved one serving in or in support of America's Armed Forces. Her dedication to offering hope and healing to the families of veterans who have fallen in service to our country has justly earned her the utmost admiration, respect, and gratitude of the veterans of foreign wars of the United States. In witness whereof, we have hereunto set our hands in the official seal of the veterans of foreign wars of the United States this 25th day of July, 2017, approved by the National Council of Administration, signed by Brian Duffy, Commander-in-Chief, Robert E. Wallace, Sergeant General. Thank you all very much. This is a tremendous honor. My husband was a proud VFW member, and he continues to inspire me to this day in all that I've been able to accomplish in his memory and for his legacy. Shortly after he was killed in that Army crash, I struggled just to survive, just to cope, just to take in a breath. And it was the community that rallied to come around me. And it was the inspiration of organizations like the VFW that let me know that it was possible to bring a community together to provide hope to others and give inspiration and have a mission. I went looking for the kind of organization that I knew existed for other types of loss in our society because, by God, this is America and we have a group for everything. But believe it or not, back in the early 90s, there was no organization to provide comfort to those grieving the loss of a military member. I joined Gold Star Wives and Society of Military Widows, wonderful membership associations that continue to walk alongside us. But out of this journey, TAPS was created to provide emotional support, casework assistance, 24-7 helpline, access to grief support in local communities, all those needs of the families of America's fallen heroes. Very early on, General Shalikashvili, then Chairman of the Joint Chiefs in the early 90s, took a look at what we were doing, and he got it. He said, you know, he said, I've been wondering why there needed to be an organization to care for families of the fallen. He said, if, if there was a need, certainly the military would have created it. But what you all know and what I learned is that it is best done by those walking that journey. So we, so we came together. We identified the gaps in service. We created our core competencies. And in 1994, TAPS was launched. 
And today, we have over 70,000 surviving family members who find services and comfort and hope and healing through this organization. I want to say thank you, Commander Duffy, and a special thank you to, to Bob Wallace and Joe Davis, who have walked beside us for many years. I sit on the Military Coalition and also the Secretary of Defense Roundtable and in advisory committees with the Department of Veterans Affairs, and it is the VFW leadership that sits beside me and guides me. It is the VFW leadership that helps our families in the local communities. And I want to offer a call to action. Since the beginning, TAPS has had a wonderful program for the children of our fallen heroes. And it's our military mentor program. It's an opportunity for service members and veterans to work one-on-one -on -one with a grieving military child, to be a support. We provide wonderful training. We provide all the support. We have good grief camps where these relationships are started and facilitated. But it's open to all those who are veterans and service members. And we'd love to have you check out military mentor opportunities at TAPS.org. So join the over 9,000 across the country who have mentored a child and continue those relationships and come alongside us. I just want to say that each and every one of you here today has made a decision in your life to step out above the rest of our society in character, in courage, in honor, in ability to do something extraordinary with your life. You have included selfless service, and now you have gone beyond that to serve in your community, in the VFW, and to make a difference in the lives of our citizens and our nation. And on behalf of the surviving families of America's fallen heroes, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We love you. Thank you. Bonnie, I know our members, and I know any time that a call to action is sounded, that they respond. In fact, just yesterday morning, I issued such call to action to help send a clear and unmistakable message to Congress that their funding extension plan was flawed and had little chance of being approved by the Senate. And I stand here proud and thankful to each and every one of the VFW members and members of the Auxiliary that answered that call to action and sent a message to Congress. The House last night defeated the bill, which now creates an opening for the House and Senate to work together. They heard your voice, and now they have an opportunity to work together in a bipartisan and joint manner to continue funding the Choice Program in the short, ter short term without forcing veterans to pay more and to make undue and urgent investments in long-term VA health care capacities. Again, comrades, your voice yesterday made Congress do the right thing, and your voice once again proved that nobody does more for veterans than our VFW. And as Commander-in-Chief, I'm very proud and I'm very thankful that you answered that call to action and I'm certain that you'll answer Bonnie's call to action as well. Thank you.